Good day and welcome to WOW, uh, Word on Wednesday with Dr. V, where we uh, give appreciation and uh, then announcements, prayer requests, and a midweek word. We want to thank each of you who were there on Sunday. We had a blessed time in the Lord. We thank God for each of you and all that you do. We thank God for our stewardesses and our ushers, our greeters, our choir, our ministers our ministry of music and our ministry staff as they served well together on Sunday and we are blessed to have received a new member. We're grateful to God for her presence and being there with her her grandmother-in-law, but we're just going to call her her grandmother, amen. And we look forward to how she will use her gifts to be part of the Carter Metropolitan family. So welcome, welcome to you, Atari. It is conference assessment time. We need all who will to give generously from your ability. The asking is $500 per member, but please give your best gift. If you have to split that up, but you can give some now, please do it now. Uh, If any can give more than the asking, it is more than appreciated. We have less than a month to go now to reach our goal, but we can do all things through Christ. I know that you're a believer and I am too. I'm doing my part. I need you to do your part as well. Worship starts with church school. Please join us at 930. All persons are encouraged to attend. Thank you for responding to the call for your children and keep bringing them, keep bringing them. We thank God for Sister Rhodes who sat in for Sister Clark on Sunday, Um, but she will be back this week and we thank God for all of our teachers, for all of our assistants to our superintendent. And then we also thank God for our superintendent of Sunday school, Brother Joseph Webb. While I do not have a banner for it, let me make this announcement. Official board is Monday. Official board is Monday evening at 6.30. We will be at the church, but we will also have some, uh, have a a hybrid for those who live on outskirts and those who cannot attend in person. But the ask is for us to be in person so that we can glean from one another as the official board of Carter Metropolitan CME Church. So I'm looking for you Monday evening at 630 at the church. God bless you. Tickets for the NAACP Freedom Fund Banquet and the Empowerment Dinner are available at $75 and $100, respectively. Our empowerment ticket money, our empowerment ticket numbers and money are due this week. Um, For those of you who have tickets, please, 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 sir, please, ma'am, please um, give your money. I did mine on Sunday. I hope that the rest of you will join me. Uh, so that we have a table. We want to make sure that we are prepared to take care of that obligation. I know that you will. I'm expecting it. Please continue to do what you're doing for the NAACP. Uh, Sister Hostin works hard uh, for the NAACP and for Carter Metropolitan, and we want to support her in this endeavor. So God bless you, and let's do it. Amen. Be diligent. COVID is still lurking. Masks are optional at church, but if you have a compromised immune system or respiratory issues, uh, please, please uh, choose to use a mask. The uh, new vaccines are available right now, and please check with your provider, amen, uh, to see how that you, your, your healthcare provider, to see how best for you to get vaccinated. Thank you. Bible study tonight, Bible study tonight, life lessons from Ephesians, let's grow up. The study guides for chapters one through five, six through 10 of Ephesians are in the office. Tonight, we will focus on Ephesians 4, 17 through 32. The power of words is the focus for tonight. Remember that the church that prays together, studies together, experiences strength, healing, and great power to do God's will. We are calling our prayer warriors. 
If you are willing to pray for worship at 915 on Sunday before church school, please meet Sunday morning in the sanctuary. Much prayer equals much power. We thank God for each of you who were on this morning as we had morning glory prayer. We thank God for Brother David Campbell and the fervent prayer that he gave us on this morning as we started our day. And we know that that number will continue to grow. Uh, we will look at our numbers and see where they were on today and then see how we grow as we pray together and as we see what God will do when we pray on one accord. Amen. We continue to pray for all who are grieving and mourning the loss of loved ones. We are lifting up Sister Diane Rose on the transition of two first cousins and Mrs. Clarice Cunningham on the transition of her mother. Please pray for those of us who will travel uh, to be with her uh, as she has more family than friend for me uh, as we go to honor the matriarch of their family, Stewardess Pandora Flake. We pray for all those we know personally, but also for the families of those in the public arena with a lot of death in the public arena. Please continue to check on those who are dealing with grief of all kinds. Love well, it really matters. We are praying for the healing of the soul, the body and the mind and spirit. Uh, special prayers for Brother Larry Brinson who had surgery on today, Sister Linda Green, Sister Ruby Glenn, Sister Cassetta Williams, Drs. T.A. and Nancy Sims, Sister Marie Webb, Brother Roosevelt and Sister Hazel G, Sister Joyce Crowder, Brother Mark Brown, Sister Marie Woods, Sister Yvonne Barron, Reverend Elsie Manning, and Sister Alexis Howard. We're praying for those who are still in treatment or those who are still in the fight. Sister Joanna Roberts, Sister Rhonda London, and Sister Carla Crenshaw. Praising God for healing and while we continue to pray for all who are recovering or convalescing, Brother Artis Barrett, Sister Kathy Harris, Sister Patsy Rose, Brother Paul Johnson, the Johnson family. Pastor's aunt, my aunt Dorothy Chimney, please continue to keep her lifted. Sister Delora K. Evans, the Palmer's grandson Andrew, who probably should have been on that first list, so keep him lifted in prayer. Sister Deborah Sand Sanders, Brother Eugene Clark, Little Zemery Pettiford, Dr. Ballinger, Sister Melvy Clark, Sister Curry, Sister Newton, Sister Jackson, Sister Johnson, Sister Simon, Sister Hobb, whom we were glad to have with us on Sunday, and all who are ill, convalescing, and recovering. There is a balm in Gilead. His name is Jesus. Amen. Our word from the day comes from Amos the fifth chapter, the 14th verse, the, first, the A chap, the A part of that verse. And it simply says, seek good and live. There's so many reasons for us to seek not good. There's so many things that are going on around us that are not good. But this text from the prophet Amos, while it gave warning to the, the people of Israel, it also said to them, when we seek good and not evil, God is with us. Three times in that chapter, it says, seek good and not evil. And so uh, our word of encouragement, our word for this week is for us to seek good and not evil and live. Expect to live. Expect to be uh, able to fulfill all that God has for our lives. Seek good, not evil. So easy it is for us to find our way on a track where we are being um, we're being reciprocal for the evil that is in the world. But as we look around us, there's so many ways to see good. There's so much going on in our country as far as hurricanes and, and, and people who are going through. We can see good, even though we may not agree with who they are. We may not agree with what they do. We may not agree with their politics or their lifestyle. But when we see good and not evil, we are seeking to find the best in people, finding our common denominator, and learning what it means to love all no matter what. So we seek good. We seek the goodness of what's inside of us. Uh, Anne Frank said many years ago that in her, in her mind that pe people are really at their core, they're really good. But we've seen a lot of 
a lot of evil, a lot of um, ways that people are treating, a lot of divisiveness, a lot of meanness, a lot of calling of names. But we, as those who are chosen, those who are royal priesthood, those who are, are, are the generations that God has called on to do his will, must seek good and then do good, must seek good, not evil, and live in a way where God is pleased with our testimony, with our witness. So as you go the rest of this week, seek good, not evil, and live, and live with joy and peace and hope. L live with the fruit of the Spirit at work in your life. Walk by faith, not by sight. Seek good, not evil, and live. May God bless and keep you is my prayer as we go through the rest of the week. We pray to see you on Saturday, on Saturday, on Saturday. Please come as the lay uh, council uh, welcomes General Secretary of Lay Ministries, Shannon Falk, Dr. Shannon Falk, who will be with us on this weekend. We pray his safe travel, but we know that he will have a word of hope and encouragement and training for our lay. Uh, I will be there late, so if you don't see me at, at 1030, don't be alarmed. I have a presentation for the Dallas District to do, but I'll be there immediately following. We will uh, we thank God for Brother Wiley, and we know that he will, in his leadership, be able to carry on just fine. And so we thank God for each of you. Please plan to be at the church ushers at 9, all the rest of the lay at 1030. We'll see you then. May God bless you.